Hello everyone, my name is Kraken Skulls, and today we're going to be playing Pokemon Fire Red. Let's get into it. I am using a MOGA Pocket. It was a bit difficult to get it to work for my phone, but hey, I got it working. Whoops. I, okay. I'm going to have to fix that in the options menu whenever I get to it. Oh, shoot. I'm going to go with Jake because that's one of my favorite names. All for video games. I'll keep it as Kaz. Okay, and as always... There's always a potion in the PC when you start out. Okay, so here... We're gonna go to Options... Tech Speed Fast... LNR regular for the frame I like using well not really like but I'm gonna go with that one and switch it to sh sorry about that Okay. Now we're going to go down here. And it's just... Okay, I always choose Bulbasaur. Uh, you can choose whatever, but he's always going to pick the opposite. Like, I'll come over here and select Bulbasaur. And then he'll pick Charmander because Charmander... I'm not going to choose nicknames. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and he's going to want to fight. I am at work on my phone recording this. 
It'll explain about the battles. This is Pokemon Fire Red for the GBA. Okay, I'm gonna tackle. Now there are there is a chance for me to lose if it gets a critical hit. But luckily, that potion that we got, the potion that we got from the PC. We healed it right up. I'm surprised he hasn't used Growl to lower my attack. Or there are some times where I'll get criticals and I can wipe them out in like three turns. Okay, Bulbasaur leveled up to level, grew to level six. Okay, I'm going to talk to him for a minute. Okay, so that's not yet. So what we're going to do now is come over here to Kaz's house. She has... Oh, not yet. We have to wait till uh, we get Oak's parcel. We'll pick up this right here. Now there are version changes. I don't want to gain too much experience because we are going to need to catch some Pokemon. I'll try to catch a Pidgey whenever because Pidgey is one of my favorites. It has Fly and it's really strong. Leech Seed is alright, but it's not the best. Oh, dang it. Stupid screen. It will go dark from time to time if I don't touch it. Let's go heal real quick. On our second way up here, we will be able to buy Pokeballs. So for now, the quickest route back would be over here with no grass. The less fighting, the faster you can get. And there are hidden items in this game, so 
be on the lookout. You get the Pokédex, and this is what starts your journey. Okay, now we can go get the town map. That other Pokeball we can't get unless if we use cheats. But I don't want to get all three starters. I'm going to play this legit. Not what I wanted. So let's try to make quick work of him. Okay, now that he's down a good portion, push over to use a Pokeball. Got him. Whoops. Okay. Now we are going to have to go heal him before we could use him. But I can do this. I don't want to waste that potion we have when there's a Pokemon Center up right ahead. I might be able to take him out. Or he can take me out. Okay. Alright, now that we're done healing, we're going to go level him up to at least level 5. And then we'll head to the next area. If I get too low, I will switch out. Ooh, yikes. Let's hope he keeps doing that. Ouch. That hurt. Ooh, took him out. Okay, good. Each each level of Pokemon that you fight has their own experience. And I think 
I forget what level we learn um, Gust at, but from the original, they did switch out Gust to make it an actual flying attack, so that's pretty good all on its own. Okay, so... Let's go heal. Okay, I'm probably going to put this around 30 minutes per day. I mean, once we get through all the beginning and getting set up to what we need, then things will start to move faster. So this is going to be a long series. See, after we leveled up, it didn't do much more damage, so we can actually, you know, I'm going to fight this one, and then we're going to get a move on. Because I want to make it to Viridian Forest before this video ends. Because there is another Pokemon I will be hunting in there, if I remember correctly. I don't know if it was this version or the leaf green where you can get a Pikachu in the forest or one of them has a higher chance of showing up than the other. That'll also help level our Pidgey but with Weedles that are coming up we do however have a chance of getting poisoned and that sucks because that dwindles down our HP. Uh, I forgot about this. Ugh. You can't just throw a Pokeball and automatically catch it. forget what was over here but there is a grassy area that we can fight in but for now I think we're gonna grab this potion And eventually we do get this item called an item finder, a key item. Okay, we're going to avoid that grass for now because I know what's in there. Caterpies are all right. I'm just not going to go for it. He doesn't fight, but there are trainers in here that do fight. But this is the area... I like to walk through to find a Pikachu. Speaking of Caterpie. Now there's status effects like uh, String Shot and Tail Whip. They only last until after the battle. So it's no big deal.
Oh, it's time to check at level 5. Okay, so I think it is level 8 for Gust. But, uh... So that string shot that he did to me, it ended after the battle ended. I'm not gonna fight that. It's gonna take too long and we'll probably run out of attack points. They're good experience if you can kill them though since they're a, a stage 2 evolution. I'm just not going to go that route. Oh, level 4 Caterpie. That's nice. See, he's still not taking or not doing much damage. Caterpies are generally weak. The only time they get good is when... uh. when they evolve into Butterfree. But if you do want a Butterfree, I do suggest catching a Caterpie. Because when it evolves into Metapod after you get the Caterpie, it will have Tackle. So you will have something to hit with. Because if you catch a regular Metapod, he will not... He will not have Tackle. And you'd have to switch out left and right. So that way you can gain experience that way. And it's real annoying. Now let's hope we don't get poisoned here. Unless if I decide to run. Yeah, I ain't gonna mess with poison right now. All right. Our Bulbasaur is pretty good through here because he is poison and it's highly unlikely that he will get poisoned. Even though I think it still does happen. Now we're at the same level as our Bulbasaur. I'm hoping before this episode ends we can at least catch a Pikachu. Yeah, I know they're weak, but... Between Bulbasaur and Pikachu, those two are going to immensely help out in one of the gyms. There he is. I hope he doesn't have Thundershock. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch out to our Bulbasaur. Okay, my attack fell. So that means we're going to go Leech Seed. I'm glad we switched out. Because Grass isn't very effective. And he already has Leech Seed, so... That's good.
Now, however, I do have to be careful and I have to be quick now that he's leech seated because it can kill him. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Better than poison. All right. Uh, I'm going to go growl. Okay, I'm going to try to catch it now. Nope. Still too soon. Alright, this is where it becomes highly dangerous. Because the next... Got him. Okay. Okay, now as you can see how they have genders on the side. That's for when we can get to breeding later on. And most people use Ditto as a breeder. Which is actually pretty, it's actually really good. If you can get a perfect, a perfect stat ditto. I think at level 100, that'll help out immensely. But that's not until way later on in the game. But if you're playing just to play the game, I wouldn't worry about it. All right, I'm going to save here and I'm going to, I'm going to call it on this video guys. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to give a like, comment, and subscribe, tell your friends. And this is episode one on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red for the Game Boy Advanced. Thank you guys and you have a wonderful day.